What up, y'all? My name is Jay Fox. This is the Major Looks channel, and today I'm going to be counting down the best, the top, androgynous picks for gifts for this year's Christmas, holiday season, 2021. All about that action. Whoop, 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 pow! By the way, shout outs to Black Business of the Day, which goes out to Shady Side Up. I hope that y'all can see that. These are the little cucumbers and I have been raving about them since I bought them with my own money. They did not send me this at all. So go ahead and check them out. Link is gonna be down in the description. They have these, uh, these are the little cucumbers, like I said, but they have these in a black with yellow uh, lenses too. Um, but I have to say this, okay, holiday times, come holiday travels, okay? And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you, the Omicron, Omicron? So there is a new coronavirus variant called the Omicron. I feel like we're going into like the Corona Marvel universe where we have like Omicron and like the Delta variant. And then we're gonna have like the, the Black Widow variant. Omicron is out here coming for, coming for your ankles. And so CDC highly suggests that you wait to travel until you are fully vaxxed. Okay, it's a personal decision with very public impact. So I would just have that in mind as you navigate through the Corona universe uh, this holiday season. But that said, let's go ahead and get into these gifts. First one is going to be a purchase that I made a couple months ago and I have loved it ever since. And that is going to be the Aritzia Boyfriend Cropped Hoodie. The reason why I suggest this hoodie is because it is perfect. It's perfect. Um, it's heavy, it keeps you super warm. Um, the hood is huge and so it's perfect for those days. So if you're like me and when you work, you just like to kind of be in a cave and you don't want to be seen and you don't want, like you don't want to look at anything. You just want to work and keep your head down and just like a little mole rat in the wall. That's kind of like how this hood makes me feel. Like I put it up and it's so big that I have like literal walls on the side of my face. So no one can see in and I can't see out. And so I like it personally. Um, it just makes me feel like hidden. Uh, and then on top of that, it's really boxy, it's wide. And so I sized up in mine. So I suggest you size up too, if that's the kind of fit that you want. But I love the kind of like oversized boxy fit of it. It's so comfortable. I love wearing this hoodie without a t-shirt underneath as well, because honestly, it's so warm that wearing a t-shirt underneath is a lot. So unless it's like proper, proper cold, like I'm talking like 30 and under, I, I don't wear a t-shirt underneath. Men, women, anyone between, anyone and beyond will love this hoodie, I promise. This next one is kind of like, I'm gonna let you choose. I'm gonna let you choose what you wanna do. 2A, Calvin Klein underwear, because I think it's timeless. My girlfriend does not wear boxer briefs. Um, it's not her underwear of choice but when she's around the house, she wears them. I bought her some like a few like months, um, probably like a year ago at this point. I bought her some a while ago and she just wears them around the house because they're really comfortable. So I think that it's just a great gift for loungewear, but also for underwear. And then they last a while and they're super breezy too. Calvin Klein underwear, in my opinion, is like top five. Just saying, top five, just saying. To be quality t-shirts. I'm talking about like undershirts, plain white tees, plain black tee, or like plain gray tees that are of a certain quality. I don't want no itchy cottons. I don't want that. I want like bamboo cottons. I want a nice little polyester blend. Maybe a little rayon in that hoe. You know, maybe maybe we get something for, from a brand that's ethically sourced, you know? Like this is the type of quality that I'm talking about. When it comes to gifts, personally, it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be, you know, uh, priced well. It's a gift, meaning this is something that you got for someone just because you thought of it. And that is the only reason that you need to get someone a gift. It doesn't need to make sense for their lives. It doesn't need to be super functional. Something as a gift that someone else is not paying for, that you are just giving to them, can be ostentatious. It can be uh, really creative. It can be unnecessary as fuck, but it's a gift. So if you're going to go this route and getting some nice undergarments or just some nice undershirts or just some plain tees, I do suggest go higher quality because one, when they take them out the bag, they take them out the box and they feel them, they're gonna be like, ooh, and that's what you want. No one's gonna give you ooh from cotton on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not. I meant what I said. Go for the high quality because that is gonna be the true show stopper. My fave. 
as we all know. Beanies, this ring, y'all keep seeing this ring fall off my finger. I feel like beanies are kind of like plants where like if someone owns one, they probably own like eight. Like no one owns just like one single plant. No one owns just one beanie. Say they do, okay? Say they do own one beanie, get them another one. The places that I love to go for beanies are H&M and Los Angeles Apparel. Personally, I don't suggest Amazon just based off of Past experiences, quality isn't always there. And I have this really bright electric blue beanie that y'all have seen before. It gives me so many issues. Like one, it's itchy as hell. And I know that Amazon has different vendors. And so you can just buy from a different vendor. Eh, mm, mm. I'm just trying to have like a no Amazon Christmas, to be honest with you. And so that's why I, if that's something that I'm going to do, I'm not going to promote it here. Number three, nope, four. Some type of low leather shoe, whether it be a loafer, or a derby, like those Doc Martin derbies. Um, just any type of like solid black leather shoe that can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, they can be every day. I think um, the Doc Martin 1460s, I think that those are a really good example of kind of like a low leather shoe that you can dress up for something a little dressier, but you could also wear them every day as it's just a plain black shoe, but it's got some leather on there. So it feels a little bit more substantial. It feels like a, it'll be able to function more from day to day rather than a canvas sneaker. They're unisex in nature just because they don't really have, there's no, there's no frills, you know what I mean? Whether it's a pair of loafers or a pair of derbies, like there's nothing really crazy about them. At least from what I'm suggesting, I don't think that you should go crazy with it um, unless, the person that you're buying for has like a very eccentric style, has a crazy style, then hey, go for it. Otherwise, I say get them like the staple black loafer or the staple black derby um, because it's something that even if they don't wear it every day, it's gonna be something that they're going to need at some point. Everybody at some point, even if you never get invited, anywhere your cousin's gonna get married in the next year or so and that's gonna be the one thing that you get invited to you know that you have to actually get dressed for and having something like this in your wardrobe having something like this just already ready is is super 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 helpful so my next one is stainless steel jewelry everything i'm wearing on my hands anyway is from vitaly actually on my wrist too so all of this is from vitaly except for this one and this is what i mean by just some stainless steel. Jewelry is one of those things that is hard for me to justify buying because it's so small. It's hard for me to spend f an upwards of $60, $70 on something that is this small. I get that and I think because of that, at least I like to think that I'm not super different in my line of thought. I think that because of that, people tend to like not buy those like basic layering pieces when it comes to like necklaces or bracelets accessories because it's hard to justify the price for something so basic the great part about gift giving holidays is it's your opportunity to give somebody something that they would not buy for themselves and things like rings things that are small that may cost a little bit more um, are just some of those things and you don't need to go crazy you can just buy one you don't need to buy the full stacking set i want to say i also have a code for vitaly if I do, I'll put it in the description. Getting somebody kind of like the basic one or two pieces to start their necklace collection, to start their ring collection, to start bracelet collection, like whatever, I think is a really great gift. And it's also really thoughtful. And it's one of those things that like, if somebody were to gift me this, I mean, somebody did gift me this. Vitaly did gift me this. They gifted me this, these two. Honestly, everything I'm wearing, I think they gifted me except for this one, this is from a jury. The fact that I didn't pay for them and I use them every day motivates me to wear them. Something about them being gifts makes me want to wear them more and starting someone's collection off, especially when they don't have much or when they don't have like the basics, I think it's gonna be something that they are really going to appreciate. Okay, so this next one, sexy, not for everybody, but personally, I think that it's dope. And that'll be a leather harness. There are so many types of leather harnesses. There are leather harnesses that are suspenders, there are leather harnesses that uh, kind of go, that are corsets or have like a corset feature. There are leather harnesses that are like phone cases. Like there's so many different types of just leather harnesses um, and things that you can harness with the leather harness. I think the styling capabilities of a leather harnesses are like wild and of course, of course, only buy this for somebody if you think that they are going to get a kick out of it, if you think that they're going to like it. Um, but this is just one of those things where I feel like 
randomly it will be for a lot of people don't don't skimp on the leather harness she's sexy okay especially if you got a little bay or something and you get them little leather harness jade fox runner of major looks or rather owner of major looks and potential like marriage couples counselor fixing relationships over heart leather harnesses just saying I talk way too much about these on a regular basis on the channel, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. If I spend over 45 seconds, then you, then there's no repercussions for me because I don't want them. A leather jacket or a shirt jacket. Great layering piece, edge texture, leather is timeless. They will not get tired of it. Leather looks good when it gets old. You can find it thrifted. You can find it vintage. You can find it expensive. You can find it fairly cheap. I don't think I need to explain any more why a leather jacket or a shirt jacket is great. So the next one is going to be skincare slash uh, makeup. As someone who like wears very, very light makeup, I wear makeup probably like twice a month, honestly. I wear super light makeup and because of that, I pretty much only wear Glossier, even though I just heard some shit about Glossier like a couple months ago, so I don't even know if we like Glossier anymore, but Glossier, Kosas, Jaden suggested that one. Fenty Beauty as well, shades galore. I think anyone who's interested in makeup, anyone who's interested in like experimental makeup, um, would benefit from getting some makeup from some of these brands. Like I just said, I wear makeup like very seldomly. And so I tend to, I need my skin to look great all the time because I know I'm not gonna be leaning on makeup to cover anything up for me. And so because of that, invest in someone else's skincare, okay? I use Ren skincare, I use Kiehl's, and uh, I also use Glory as a black owned brand as well. Those are my top three. I use black, black Girl Sunscreen because sunscreen, please don't skip on the sunscreen. If you have a skincare routine and you have dark marks on your face, or if you just have hyperpigmentation, please do not skimp on the sunscreen. I'm telling you, I'm like, listen, if you don't want the skin, I ain't, go, I, I ain't gonna waste my advice, okay? I'm trying to help y'all out because as someone who's experienced dark marks my entire life, uneven tones my entire life, as soon as I introduce sunscreen and vitamin C, kind of like glowier type of ser serums and stuff like that, game changer, game changer. This next one is probably the coolest thing on this list and that would be anything vintage. A personally, a vintage jacket, like a vintage Letterman, uh, vintage sunglasses. I'm talking like Gucci sunglasses or like old Tom Ford glasses. Uh, I had my old barber back in LA. Last time I linked up with her, she had on these glasses. They were like regular, just like silver frame glasses. But I was looking at them, I was like, those ain't regular silver frame glasses. And she was like, oh yeah, these are fucking Cartier. And she found them, like literally found them at a vintage shop. I think it was a vintage glasses shop. She found these vintage Cartier frames and got her prescription put into them. And now those are like her everyday glasses. And I think that's so cool. So anything that's vintage, I did a video on my main channel basically talking about gifts for just the gay in your life, you know, but these are gifts more that are centered around fashion and style and that type of thing, clothing. So that's why I'm suggesting this in particular. But one thing that I'm going to echo is Vintage items or thrifted pieces show someone that you took time on finding that thing. It just shows someone that like, yo, not only did I want to give you something, I wanted to give you something that was one of one. I wanted to give you something that no one else would have. And I wanted to give you something that wasn't, like this was not on your wish list at all. But I know this is probably one of the coolest things that you're going to get this Christmas because it's, a, it's from 1972. The next one is going to be shapewear. I am talking like Skims style shapewear. Shout outs to Kim, uh, Chloe, Courtney, Chlorophyll. This is my idea when I was thinking of it. In my mind, I can imagine if I wanted to, to present more feminine, I can see how shapewear would help me with that. Um, so shapewear is just gonna give you more of an enhancement around your curves. You can do the shapewear by itself. Like I've seen people like style shapewear and just wear it out in the world. Um, like I said, you can wear it underneath, the, either, underneath your clothes to give you more of like an enhanced or like a, a heightened shape. Tread lightly because I understand also how that can seem because there was definitely a Christmas where I gave someone that I was dating um, running shoes and they, they said that I fat shamed them because I gave them running shoes. I wasn't trying to, but I literally just got them because she said she wanted to start working out. And so I got her the shoes. But, you know, you don't know how these gifts are going to be interpreted, 
especially if you're giving them for a partner, you know? So that's why I say be careful. This is like alongside shapewear. I was going to suggest compression tops. If you know anyone who has a big chest and prefers to dress a little bit more masculine, honestly, period. If someone who has a big chest is over it. Anyone that has big titties, even if they love their titties, I'm sure that there are times where they don't. I'm sure that there are times when they just don't want, they don't want the whole world seeing what they got going on underneath that t-shirt, you know what I mean? And so compression tops is just another type of undergarment to help shape your body in a way that has you feeling more comfortable in public. At the end of the day, that's what both of these do for people and so that's why they've made it onto the list. And the very last thing on this list that I'm going to mention that I think you should get someone, uh, your favorite angel person in your life, and that is going to be a short jacket. What do I mean by a short jacket? It could be a crop jacket, a coach style jacket, or even like a bomber. I just feel like short jackets or crop jackets look good on everyone regardless of your style and regardless of your body type. But I think just the short jacket look, regardless of how you style it up, it just always looks really put together. Um, I think the, the fact that the jacket is short, um, it like makes you look taller because it makes your legs look a little longer as well. We, we don't always need to dress in ways that make us look flattering either. I'm not trying to say that. But I think that short jackets can create really, really great aesthetics. They're masculine, they're feminine, they're genderless, they're everything. That is it. That is the list. I hope that y'all liked it. I'll put my sunglasses back on. That is it for me. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Links for Shady Side Up will be in the description below. And I will see y'all very soon in another one.